Changing the color of your cell in a Google G Sheet can be a little bit tricky, but with some tweaking in the script editor, we can get it done. Let's get right into it. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is of course, go to G Sheets, uh, open up a new spreadsheet. Uh, we're gonna name this one, uh, let's give it a sec to load. Let's name it something like um, repair status. And for your purposes, it can be whatever you're using it for. Uh, let's give it a couple of headers here. Uh, so we'll say, for instance, customer name. Uh, then we'll give it another one. Uh, it'll be a serial number for a machine that, that they're using. And then we'll give it a status. So that'll just be three essential kind of uh, columns that we're gonna have here. And yours can be specific to whatever you like. Okay, next we're gonna need some uh, buttons here to kind of make these changes happen. Uh, so I'm going to insert an image. Uh, I have them uploaded in my Google Drive under buttons and we're going to choose a green check for instance for the uh, good status meaning repaired uh, let's add another one a red a red kind of x meaning that hey something's not right or the repair is still in progress and finally, we'll add another button to reset the cell to a regular clear color, which is, is kind of like the default. So refresh. And if you'd like to use these specific icons that I have here, I'll link them in the description. You can freely use these, no problem. All right, so now that we have our three uh, buttons here, we need to make it so that these buttons change the color of this cell. So for instance, the excuse me, not the cell, uh, the cell on the bottom here being um, for, so for example, for Jake uh, Miller and the serial number of his machine was gonna be, you know, GV, doesn't matter. And then the status, okay. So and then our status is gonna be represented by a color. And this is all just, you know, concept. Uh, this may not be how you're gonna be applying this, but general, idea here is that we're just trying to change the color of one of our cells here. So for a demo for the for this purpose, I'm going to try to change this cell C2 to green when the check mark is clicked. And I want to change it to red when the red X is checked. And then I want the color to be reset when I uh, click this refresh button here. So what we're going to do now is open up our script editor. Okay, and I've already had these scripts pre-written just to kind of avoid all this uh, craziness here. Uh, so I'm gonna copy and paste and I'll also have them in the description so that you can freely use them. Uh, we're gonna rename this guy here and we're gonna rename it to, so first of all, we've got to rename the project. Uh, so our project name is gonna be cell colors. That's fine. All right, we're gonna rename, let's give it a sec to save. Okay, and then we're going to rename this one to uh, red color. All right. I'm just gonna make a co I'm going to make a copy of this. Because we're going to want one for green as well. We're going to rename this, we're going to make this green color. Okay, and I make another copy and I'm going to name this reset color, reset color. Awesome. All right. So now we have our three uh, kind of functions that are going to one change the color of the cell to whatever we want it to or reset it. So I have them down here. Let's start with the red one. Okay, so this is to change it to red. Copy and paste here. 
Okay, now let's just take a quick look at the, at the actual code so you guys have an idea of what it's doing. Okay, so we have our functions set, uh, C2 red, and then we are pretty much pulling up the active sheet. We're selecting the color that we want, which is in the hex equivalent. Uh, I'll also upload a hex uh, kind of data sheet so that if you want to use different colors, not red or not green, you can make them orange, purple, yellow, whatever you want. But this is the hex color for red. And you can also Google it. There are a whole bunch of, you know, kind of color converters for whatever you're looking for. And then we're saying, hey, that I want my cell C2 to be changed to this color. Okay, so it's red. All right, now we're going to get one for green. Paste that in here. And as you can tell, the hex color has changed here because it's going to be green. And then to reset, I also have another one for reset, meaning that the hex color is just essentially going to be transparent. Paste. Okay. So now that we got that in there. Okay, now the only thing we need to remember at this point is going to be our variable colors. Okay, so for, I mean, our function names. So our function name here is C2 reset. The other one is C2 green. So you want, you want to keep these short because you're gonna have, we're gonna have to type these later. So you have the freedom to name them whatever you want. But here I'm just naming them kind of short so that we can uh, have an easier time adding these. All right, so now that we have this, we can save it. Uh, we just want to go to all three of these and save. Okay. And let's go over back to our G sheet. Okay. So now I'm going to right click and left click. So that's actually important to remember because you have to right click on it first to kind of highlight it. And then you're going to click these three little dots with the left click and we're going to assign a script to this. Okay. So this, since this is the green one, we want to write C2 green. Which script are we assigning? We're going to hit OK. And now as soon as we click on it with a left click here, it's going to ask us, well, that's uh, kind of something that you're going to run into only once essentially, but it, you're going to need to authorize Google scripts to run on your um, Excel sheet. I'm sorry, not your, your G sheet. So let's hit continue. We're just going to sign in here. We're going to okay, uh, this untitled project wants access. We're going to say totally fine. We're going to allow it. OK, there we go. So once I clicked it, it made it green. So now let's make it so that when we click this one, it turns red. We're going to assign a script and we're going to say C2. That's the cell and red. OK, so let's see what happens when we click on it. Boom, change the color to red. And then if we click on this one, it'll go back to green red, green, you can go back and forth. Now, if you don't want to color it here at all, and you kind of want to reset it back to default, we're going to assign this one for that purpose now. Assign script. Actually, I don't remember the name of that uh, function. So I'm going to go back here, reset colors. It's actually C2 reset. Okay. C2 reset. Okay. And now when we click on this one, that's how we'll reset. Now you're of course going to have more uh, variables uh, or more names, more customer names or whatever your, you know, kind of data is, uh, you, uh, you know, are going to have, you're going to realize that, that you're not going to be able to do this so quickly um, if you have a lot of data. Reason being is because the way that Google Sheets is currently you're going to have to import each one of these kind of uh, objects again for each name or each kind of row that you have or each column. Uh, so just to give you an example of it, I'm going to do it really quickly and just show you what I mean by that. See, because you can't take this and actually copy it. There's no, you can, you can copy, but when you go to edit and paste, it doesn't actually paste the image itself. And going through a lot of uh, forums and boards, there's no easy way to do it. So you actually have to go insert image, pick the green check mark again. It'll bring it in. 
and then you have to do the exact same thing for the red one insert image select all right and you're gonna move it up and you're gonna do insert image and we'll do it for the refresh okay so now that you have three different objects here you're gonna have to actually change your script up or you have to create a second script because you no longer want these buttons down here changing cell c2 you want them changing cell c3 so the way we do that is we'll go back in here and we can just copy and paste so let's do it for the red color first so for the red we're going to command c if you're on a mac control c if you're on windows and we're going to drop it down and paste it and now we're going to change this function name to c3 and our cells are not going to be c2 anymore they're going to be c3 all of that remains the same that looks good okay so let's save it oh we also want to change okay so we did that c3 red perfect all right let's hit save let's go back to repairs and we're going to assign another script to this and it's going to be c3 red okay and now when i click on that it'll change this cell to red so that's essentially the only kind of downside to it is that this process takes some time uh, but once you kind of get it in there and it's uh, you know fully kind of set up already uh, adding individual ones afterwards isn't so bad so not ideal until Google kind of improves the, the scripting and the object copying and pasting. But in the meantime, uh, this is a pretty, pretty cool method to getting buttons working within a Google G Sheet. Other than that, thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time.